do expats need to complete a tax return this year? The answer is exchange of information. Exchange of information is online exchange of information um, between tax authorities. So if you've got property rental income, the rental agent, uh, if you've got a bank paying interest or, or shared dividends being paid, um, or uh, any investment being paid but from a, a company, all those incomes, all those capital gains are shared with the relevant tax authority. Um, so your bank uh, can share it with, um, you know, in the country where they are. So UK bank, a UK investment company, UK crypto will share the information with HMRC. Uh, if you are not tax resident in the UK, you're an expat, they will then share that with your country of tax residents under the double taxation treaty. Uh, so the information is going on your tax record at some point. Um, you can see this already uh, in, in UK tax returns where they're pre-filled with certain uh, information which is already exchanged to the tax authorities. It's exchanged across border, might take a year or two to catch up with you, but unless you follow the rules, unless you make the right uh, registrations, the right declarations, the right returns, you could end up paying too much tax or being fined with a penalty for, for late returns or submissions. So whether you've got a contract, a payroll, uh, investments, uh, property rental income, uh, bank interest, wherever your interest, wherever your income is coming from, or a crypto capital gain, uh, a property capital gain, there's a potential tax liability, make sure your tax records are correct. Uh, talk to the expat experts, product partnership, uh, contact us at productpartnership.com.